Good morning, everybody. It is September the 19th, 2009, and uh, this is Tony B. A lot of you know I have this old antique Coke machine, and um, it's a 1944 model, and it only holds the small, the small Cokes. Those of you that are my age, you know what I'm talking about when I say a small Coke. It holds this size right here. And this is an old Coke bottle um, that I found at my grandmother's house um, years ago when my granddaddy Bohannon died. We was rummaging around in the barn and I found that. But here is something that my neighbor, my neighbor found this after the flood here in Montgomery a few months ago and and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it I'll tell you what I'm, I'm going to turn this camera sorry hold on I'll turn this camera vertical but check out this coca-cola bottle right here can you see it property of the coca-cola bottling company Montgomery Alabama look at that thing Oh, I didn't finish telling you. My neighbor Sam, he's actually just loaning me this. I'm going to try to get him to give it to me, though. But anyway, my neighbor Sam found that in a ditch near an old cemetery um, after the flood. Um, you'd have to know Sam. Sam. Sam loves to look for old things, and he's got this secret spot. Uh, that I'm sworn to secrecy on. But anyway, I thought you all would like uh, seeing this old Coke bottle. I'll tell you what, let me let me bring it over here in some better light. Alright. Can you see it? Problem is it's clear. Property of see that at the top? Property of the Coca-Cola, look at that old script writing. Coca-Cola Bottling Company. See that? Isn't that cool? The camera's trying to focus. It's about as close as I can get it right there. Montgomery, Alabama. That is a cool bottle. Anyway, um, that's about all there is. Just wanted to share that with you. And for those of you that have never seen my Coke machine, now some of you, even my age, are not going to remember this, but Cokes used to cost six cents. Six cents. You would put a nickel in here, you could actually get a Coke for a nickel if you were dishonest. But you put a nickel in there, and then you'd also put in a penny. But it was only the nickel that would fall through the mechanism and dispense the coke. The penny would just simply fall right straight down into the uh, change change box. Anyway, uh, this is what makes this coke machine kind of kind of unique. Let's see if I can get down here. Can you see that? It says insert penny and nickel, dime, or quarter. Push handle down. And this old machine would actually give change. There's nothing electric in there. By like say if you put put your penny in there and put your quarter in there and push that thing down, that action of pushing that down would dispense the coke and it would give you three nickels three nickels in change. Or if you put in a dime, it'd give you one nickel. But Coca-Cola, when they raised their prices from five cents to six cents, they discovered that the penny, because it would not, it's not designed to go down through the mechanism, the penny just simply fell down into the box. So they raised the prices to six cents. 
And a lot of people, especially you young people out there, you're probably familiar with the Coca-Cola product called Sprite. But you might not have ever known where where the term Sprite come from. Well, this right here, this is Sprite Boy. He was featured in a lot of the early Coca-Cola advertising. And his name was Sprite Boy. Now, I actually am not sure where Sprite came from, you know, the name Sprite, but this is Sprite Boy. And it's a bank. It's heavy as crap. But it's a bank that you could buy. Now, this is a reproduction of Sprite Boy. But they made these back in the day. And, and he always wore this little uh, Coca-Cola bottle cap as, as his little... Um, little hat or moniker or whatever you might call that. Anyway, so as you can tell I'm a Coca-Cola um, enthusiast and I hope you've enjoyed this little video this morning.